concentrate, so I can't even really get the feeling and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> but what I do like to do is prank people, listen to music, laugh, be obnoxious, but also I'm like really nice and kiss everybody's ass and be on a pedestal and put everybody on a pedestal and compliment everybody like my friend, you know, a friend of mine that does. You remember, and remember that night when he called and he's like, he's all excessively complimenting me. Remember that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I and I don't want to mention his name. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah, and me and him are a lot like that, you know? And, well, you, you're one of them nice drunks, too, right? I mean... Yeah. So anyway, um, uh, so, uh, yeah, so this chick is fucking, like, like, basically cowgirl on top of me. And all that, and like, I'm not even really into it. Her breath is, oh my gosh, it smells like rotten sewage. <laughs> Dude, it was like, I mean, the guard, I mean, basically. I can imagine, I remember that stupid fucking, I, I remember the way her teeth looked, I'll just say that. Yeah. I mean, damn, dude, I mean, it smells like the garbage disposal, dude, you know? Yeah, it was pretty, f I, well, I don't know what the breath smelled like, but the way her teeth looked, I'm not surprised. <laughs> So anyway, she's all like on top of me, and I basically can't climax or anything. So then, meanwhile, she's bleeding all over the bed because the band-aid comes off. And uh, I think I finally got all them stains out. I had to use a bunch of peroxide and like a bunch of cleaner and all that. And <clears throat> so anyway, everybody was drunk. You went home for the night. We had no way to get this girl home. So she ended up sleeping on the couch. And... Uh, <clears throat> but see, my former girlfriend wanted that girl, her you know, her female friend, to come over here to have sex with me. So that and the whole plan was so that my former girl, or so that my girlfriend could watch. You know, my girlfriend at the time could watch it, could watch me and her friend have sex and see whether or not she gets jealous. Yeah. She couldn't just think about, you know, whether or not to to measure her. She had to know for sure yeah, to measure her current situation and make a choice. You know. God damn. And there's all kind of weird, creepy shit that this person did to me. I mean, like, and this ain't even, I mean, this is like a fraction of the shit that happened to me in the last 20 years. Yeah. I mean, is it any surprise that I, that I have my views about women that I have? Yeah, and this shit builds up over time, like you see more and more of it, and eventually you can't, like, you can't ignore it. Because it's too obvious. I know. It, it's just... Fuck. It's never just one goddamn thing. And then thing. it's a double standard. It's like, you're expected to put up... You're expected to tolerate loneliness and rejection your whole life. And then these girls bitch about it when it happens to them. And it's like... You mean it's wrong to reject people when they want you? And meh, meh, meh? Apparently. <clears throat> and it's just so fucking... It's... Is it like... Is it dystopic? Or like what? It's just bizarre. It's very fucking strange. And so anyway, I hope to, you know, the clever, uh, you know, clever literal, I hope this, I hope this, you know, uh, this, uh, like, answers your question or whatever. Let's see how many more messages I get. Okay, I still got Vampire Lover on here that I got to answer. <clears throat> they say, uh, well, let's check my audio levels. They say, at Manslave, which is me, um, uh, <clears throat> um, aka validation warfare. Well, actually, you can just call me manslave because that's specifically me. Now, the other person, um, you know, of the um, who's on the channel is this guy right here. And uh, go ahead and state your name. I'm the disposable human doing. Yeah, and you're my friend. You're my colleague in this. And Validation Warfare is just what we call our YouTube channel because that's the main core subject matter that all this stuff really comes down to is a, a war between both male and female for validation. <clears throat> um, okay, and he says, hey man, your videos are great and very insightful. Uh, I... I did not get my first girlfriend until I was 22 years old, and I have, and I have not had one since. Uh, at first, I thought I was not much of a human being, 
when I couldn't find anybody, but you know when I'm, you know, you you know what I am loving every bit, being single. Okay, I guess he, he enjoys his freedom, you know, to like not be with women. I think he relates with me. I think he understands. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, um, and just like you said, uh, next time I get a girlfriend, I will hardly talk to her and make make her be the desperate one. Oh, I think this dude does have a clue. Yeah, he does. <clears throat> um, it's time to start letting these bitches have a taste of it, too. You know what? Okay, just in case you watch this video, because I'm assuming you're going to sit through all of this, and I'm going to take, you see this, you see this right here? Vote it up. Yeah, I just voted up your comment, because you make a good point. And, um, um, well, who's this Michelle Unity? Um, uh, <laughs> Well, of course you don't got any video views or subscribers because you also don't have any videos. <laughs> um, I mean, that can't be a coincidence. <laughs> I mean, if you don't have any videos to view on your channel, you're not going to get any subscribers and you're definitely not going to get any video views because you have nothing to subscribe to or nothing to watch. Um, like... Oh, man, like a couple people like this comment that I did two weeks ago, but they sure do fantasize about, um, oh, yeah, because cause anime fan uh, 2K9 says, <clears throat> he says, modern women disgust me, blah, blah, what do you can see here, uh, oh, crap, fuck, I'm going to have to try to up-convert this to fucking 1080 because I forgot to set my screen res at 720 for making this video, oh, crap. So it's going to be a bit challenging to read the text. Sucks ass, dude. Should have had it. I know, I, I forgot. But anyway, uh, he says, you know, they, they won't take responsibility for the mistakes in their actions, not willing to help out their boyfriends or husbands when they need help. Uh, some of the women t today are lazy and would not be able to handle the life of the um, old frontier times. Well, you see what I say here, but they sure do fantasize about the frontier life when they read those romance novels. I see those things almost every day when I when I go to the store and look through the magazine or book section. Smut. Yeah, the romance novels are gynocentric, artificially dignified smut, and they are. I mean, fuck. I mean, like, what romance novel does not include sex? <clears throat> I mean. Why it's it's their porno mag and it's and it, see it's artificially dignified because yeah. it's all like fucking like sneaky about it you know and w which because they got to be all sneaky about shit because they got to hide their true nature because they're you know they're the ones that are the problem um okay there's there, there's no more messages to answer um okay subscriptions who's got who's got new stuff um. <clears throat> Uh, Snake Pliskinus, you know, he's got, you know, three hours he put out a new video. Uh, I'm probably not going to watch it now. I need to be getting to bed soon. Um, okay, let's check our channel status. And why don't you go and pet it and pet it and pet it and pet it. Pet it. Yeah, well, the beach child. And, okay, we are still at 62 subscribers. 2,892 video views. Almost 2,000. Yeah. <clears throat> now, let's go into Facebook and, um, let's see, um, this email account that I had somebody make for me. Oops. And, um, Beak. Beak. um, Bennett, 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 Mug, Beak Child. What was this? Oh, yeah. Um, 
Look at what Belt Sanders says. I show no one. This is, this is proof of nothing. I said, said, Belt Sanders, it's not proof of anything to you because you weren't there to see it. Yeah, he's the pet son. And, uh... Um... So, anyway, um... Belt Sanders, that's what I call him. Oh, people aren't supposed to see what that is. Well, you know what that is. Yeah. Yeah, you, uh, you're a member of it, too. I'm pretty sure you've showed that before, though. I don't think so, because it, cause it's basically the secret group that I got invited to, and you're not supposed to know it exists. And uh, they, they actually, if you look at this, it's too late for this now. Secret group, only members can see the group, who's in it, and what members post. And the reason why they went secret with it and they pretty much say the same stuff that they say in the anti-feminism and anti-misandry groups. Yeah. Um, which is public for everybody to see, but then also at the same time they get all kind of harassment <clears throat> from feminists and women and all that. And then they get fucking blocked and like fucking reported and all this other kind of shit. So, um, um, um. Oh, fuck. Jessica Blackham. Fuck, goddamn. No, I don't want to, like, I don't want to, like, look. Okay. <clears throat> leaving newborn son in toilet. Jessica Blackham gets home arrest for leaving newborn son in toilet. Home arrest. Holy look at this. Arrest. Are you kidding House me? arrest. Yes, what literally fuck? a fucking slap on the wrist for abandoning a baby in a toilet. What a fucking... I love poop mouth. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, um, a South Carolina judge decided against prison time for a woman who left her newborn near death in a toilet near of death. a. N near death, yes. God fucking damn. Near death, uh, in a. in the toilet of a sports arena after giving birth during the circus. Are you fucking kidding me? Well, I mean, my, my, she doesn't need serving time. Well, look, at, look at, what does this person look like? What's Looks celebrity? like a fucking meth addict. Well, yeah, but, uh, what celebrity does this person look like? Uh, I don't know. Why don't you go on and pet it and pet it and pet it? Child. Brown kind Well, hmm. Doesn't it kind of look like this girl here in this picture? Sort of. Well, look at this. OK Magazine. Big, big wedding. Rob and Kristen's dream come true. Now, I'm sure it's Kristen's dream. Kristen's Bella-inspired dress, the sentimental ring, the gorgeous flowers, and more. Inside, their surprise Canadian honeymoon. Oh, fuck. Are they already married? Plus their latest baby update. This guy here, Robert Pattinson, is going to get fucked over so bad. I mean, fuck, what? what he's going to get cuckolded for sure because, like, how many times did Kristen Stewart cheat on Robert Pattinson this year of 2012? Three, was it? At least twice. Okay, I didn't know. At least. And everybody thinks she's so hot. I, I don't get why either. She's not really very attractive. Mm -hmm. Bronchial toilet nose. 
<laughs> Toilet nose. <clears throat> Bronchial tube child. Oh my gosh. When asked why she refuses to talk about her life, Stuart replied, I'm selfish. I'm like, that's mine. Uh, and you know, and, and I can't, and, and I like to keep whatever is mine uh, remaining that way. Oh, so she's very oh, possessive. Mm. It, it's funny. It's a funny little game to play, and it's a slippery slope. I always stay to myself, and, and I never, and I'm never going to give anything away because there's never any point uh, or benefit for me. I guarantee. Whenever I get married or have a baby, everyone oh. is going to want to know my kid's name, and I'm not going to say it for ages. Stuart, fi Stuart finally acknowledged her relationship with Robert Pattinson for the first time in July 2012 when U.S. Weekly published photos of Stuart have when when when. St when U.S. Weekly published photos of Stuart having an affair with her Snow White and the Huntsman director Rupert Sanders. The day the photos were released, Stewart issued a public apology to Robert Pattinson, stating that this moment, this momentary uh, indiscretion uh, ha has jeopardized the most important thing in my life, the person that I love and respect the most. Rob, I love him. I love him. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? And then what did she do again? Oh, cheat with another guy. Well, this is just another momentary indiscretion. I mean, Fucking God. Go pet it. I mean, is it that hard? Fuck. I mean, and she cheated on him at least once, confirmed, because she publicly admitted to it and all that. And fucking had an affair with a married man. She's fucking oh, home wrecking. Piece of crap. And, and then poop mouth, poop mouth, poop mouth. And then and but oh, but several months prior, like in late 2011, she fucking publicly shamed Robert Pattinson for holding a hand. For I'll show I'll show the the audience what she did. Like, uh. Oh, what was this? Um, fuck. Because of where was it? Because of supposedly this right here. Robert Pattinson in the backseat of a car. And look, there's even somebody else in the car, so they were basically supervised. Holding hands in the car. You know, and it's a female friend of his. What the fuck? <laughs> is, is Robert Pattinson cheating on Kristen Stewart? You know, and it's yeah, like... Yeah, he's clearly got his <clears throat> cock in her mouth right there. Yeah, and it's like, look, they're just sitting there side by side. They got their clothes on and all that. And, um, fuck. I mean, like, and then look at it like, Kristen, oh, well, oh, look at this. Kristen cheats on Rob, and then just cheats again and again and again. Fuck. And it keeps going back to her. It, it just shows that loyalty and fidelity is, is, Typically and uniquely a male trait. Yeah. And this is why marriage is a fucking lie. Well, at least one reason. Because, because the woman has to live a lie. That, that she's on level with a man in terms of being uh, loyal and faithful and all this other kind of shit. I'm not saying that there's no woman who has ever been loyal or faithful to a man. I'm sure there are some who have. 
But, like, you typically see, like, oh, well, here, for example, a woman will supervise a man a whole lot to make sure he doesn't cheat on her and, and to keep him under her guidance, or guidance and influence and control to make sure and steer his life so he doesn't fuck anything yeah, up. Men don't, don't but then she wants her freedom and her girl time and all that, which she could use to abuse and cheat on her guy, but but he better just deal with it and let her have time alone because if he don't... She can't be expected to devote her whole life to this well, man. Because if he doesn't give her her free time, then he's a controlling and abusive asshole. Man! <clears throat> anyway, and he still trusted her, regardless know, of how many times she ripped it. Fucking time. Exactly, regardless of how many times she ripped his heart out. And look at this look on her face. Of course, she's getting what she wants. <clears throat> of course, he's just rebuilding his bubble back up. Yeah. And um. Anyway, um. Yeah, she kind of looks like Kristen Stewart, doesn't she? Yeah, okay. Looks more like a method, though. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, Jessica Black uh, Blackham was sentenced to a year at home confinement and three years of probation Wednesday after pleading guilty to infliction of great bodily ha injury to a child. The six-and-a-half-pound newborn baby was likely in the toilet for 90 minutes and near death before he was found by a cleaning crew in the stall filled with blood and other gore. What the fuck? His head was barely above the water and his body temperature was 85 degrees, prosecutor Betty Strom said. Blackham, who has an older daughter, uh, said she never... Oh, God damn! Said she never knew she was pregnant for a second time. How'd you not fucking? Oh my gosh! It, it, even just fucking five months old, you can see a pretty significant belly. Remember that poop mouth who worked with you at Wendy's and she was only two weeks pregnant? She's like, yeah, well, I yeah. feel the baby inside of me and I can't do all this work because I'm pregnant and I can feel the baby inside of me. And man. Yeah, I remember. I, I got. I got, uh, what is it, um... I got morning, I got yeah, the day after sickness. Yeah. I got morning sickness, man! <laughs> and they just totally like, mm, you know what, you should go home, honey. Look man. at this fucking, look at this fucking incompetence defense that this bitch fucking does. You know? Oh, I never knew I was pregnant. Bullshit. You know, you know how many times I've heard this before? I've heard this, like, a couple other times in the last few years. Like, like, one of them, like, like, I don't know if this is the same case, but, um, but, um, I've heard about other toilet births. Oh, and yeah, women I, just, could, I can mention one, but I'm not going to do it right now on the recording because, uh, I, I'll, I can tell you about it later. I'm sure I've told you before. Okay, so anyway, uh, black him. Uh, you know, the girl, uh, who who has an older daughter, uh, says she never knew that she was pregnant for a second time. She said she doesn't remember giving birth in a cramped stall while her friends and, and family texted to see if she was okay as she missed the second act of the circus in February 2011. <clears throat> Blackham brought her four-year-old daughter to the stall with her, but texted her family to take the girl from the bathroom because she was having stomach problems, Strom, who was the prosecutor, said. Um, Judge Ned Miller asked that the 26-year-old mother, who had no prior criminal record, um, uh, asked the mother why she never asked for help. And the girl says, you know, uh, Jessica Blackham says, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is that I didn't realize what was going on, uh, or because my my loss of blood, I wasn't thinking clearly. You know, said Blackham, who added that she was told in the hospital that she nearly died from the blood loss from injuries she suffered giving birth. Um, Blackham graduated from a private Baptist high school. And had, a, and had a job at Kmart before her arrest. 
She went to see the doctor the next day because she was heavily bleeding. Wow. Oh, yeah, it goes on. <clears throat> Blackham was given a five-year prison sentence, but she won't serve it as long as she successfully completes her home confinement and probation. She, she also was ordered to get counseling and face random drug tests. The baby is developing normal, and Blackham gave up her parental rights to him, uh, authorities said. Uh, she has joint custody of her older daughter. South, Car South Carolina uh, has a safe haven law that allows oh, mothers that, that allows mothers to leave newborns in safe places such as a hospital or a doctor's office without being prosecuted. What? What the fuck? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, God damn, why don't you give them the nuclear launch codes while you're at it? God, God fucking damn. <clears throat> All right. Um, Blackham apologized before she was sentenced. I love my son dearly, and it kills me to know that in the first few critical moments of his life, I was unable to provide him the care that he needed, Blackham said. I thank God somebody was there to save him, to save his precious life. <laughs> what a fucking bee cater. Oh my gosh. Wow, um, that's so fucking pathetic. Oh my gosh. Oh, God damn. It's pretty dumbass shit, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the, the Clackmas Town Center shooter identified. Meh. Okay. Um. This is, like, it says, Hey, you should. AK-47 and a Colt 45. I love whenever you get to hear him describe what you... He had, no, sorry, sorry. He had a Glock and an AK-47. Meh. It's always some stupid fucking bullshit. Sounds like they need to go pet it. Well, definitely, they ain't gonna do it. Some side effects of not petting it include hatred. And being a dumbass. Mm-hmm. Uh, Frito Bogan here. Frito Bogan here to all my fellow <laughs> woman haters from the vineyard. That's how people would portray him. I mean, he's pretty cool, but like, there is some stuff he don't talk about that I wish he would. I saw my shady videos. Um, they all have just that picture there. This one there, like they all have it. The fuck. And uh. You know, Beetle Fogan here. You know what CF stands for, right? Where? Uh, what? No, no. Counterfam. Oh, let's see. Why don't you go and pet it and pet it and pet it and pet it? Pet it? Oh, yeah, love the bee child. Oh, this one keeps coming up because it's pinned. That's that. It was pinned to the to the page. Here's what I was telling you about. Oh, I want control. <laughs> look at her face. I mean, look like, at her. Like, <clears throat> now you better give me what I want. Man, it's like she's looking at a dog that just shit, the, like, shit on the floor or something. Mm -hmm. and it's like, I need feminism because equality isn't enough. I want control. Thanks for, <clears throat> being, thanks for being honest. Chander Pal. He's cool. I like Chander Pal. So he pets it, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Beak. Bronchial tube child. Munkerloard. Bronchial tube child. Oh, here's Abhi Nav right here. Abhi Nav is pretty badass, dude. He's cool. So he pets it. Mm-hmm. Pretty peakish. Bronchial tube child. Magic monkey face man. He's Beaky Buddy, and he's full of joy. Oh, guess what? He's friends with Barbarossa, also. Beaky, 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 Beaky Buddy. Beaky, 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 Beaky,
See, like, Abby Nav posts all these pictures that make points and all that, and that's what he does a whole lot of. And I think he lives in India. I think he's Indian. <clears throat> beak and child and beak and Black Knight, child, beak see? Beak and child, beak and child, beaky beak, child, beak, child, beak, beak, a beak, a beak, a beak, 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 child, beak, beak, child. Bronchial monk or low ward. Beaky, 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 beak. Why don't you go and pet it? Beaky, beaky. Why don't you go and pet it? Peaky, peaky, child. Peaky, magic monkey. Peaky, magic monkey. Peaky, 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 child. Child, child, child. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, gosh. Here's that one. Oh, nice. That's Abby Nab. That's what he's... That's... Yeah, dude. Oh, gosh. He's so cool. He's got his Thomas James Ball up here. Is that him? Martyr of the Cause, don't forget. Yep. Pretty peakish. Uh, yeah, the dude set himself on fire. Um, yeah, Abby Nav is pretty cool, dude. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then what else did he use? He's had others. Uh, oh, god damn, dude. You gotta see the one on feminism. Oh my god, dude, look at this! Oh my god! Holy shit! <laughs> yeah! Oh gosh, look, she's burning army. Barbie's got a fucking lit match and she's burning oh army man and all that. Oh my god. God damn. It's good. I recognize this girl. Do you recognize her? It's Dr. Like, Claw. Oh yeah, it kind of looks like her, yeah. From yeah. Atheist. Remember she says... Hey, it's me, Barbie. Just kidding. <laughs> dude, 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 we gotta use this picture. Oh my gosh, you gotta like it. Um A big 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 Oh my gosh, he's pretty cool. Big child, he is crying for joy. He is big child magical nose. Oh, man, man, man. Check us out. It's got uh, Ashley Judd on here. That picture of her says, this is what a feminist looks like. But, but look. Look at all the women who died in World War One, and World War Two. all the women say. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, dang. Beak. A child, la, 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 da, 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 beak. A child, beak. A beak, child, beak, beak. Aaron Pitts is pretty cool. Beak, beak, beak. Cha, 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 beaky, beaky. Cha, 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 beaky, beaky. Cha, 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 cha. cha, cha. Oh, check this out. Did you tell her? Uh, did you say you talked to her about that book, or whatever? Yeah. Beak. Oh, look at this. What do I see here? Oh, wow. In praise, in, if praise is applied in the correct dosage, you will never need to scold. Any man who is accustomed to regular and conditional dosage of praise will interpret its absence as displeasure. <laughs> yeah, I've read that part. Man, I'd like to meet Esther Villar, wouldn't you? Hell yeah, she's a hardcore, like, badass. A big she is Ar Ars Neil Alt <laughs> says she is Argentinian, born here in Buenos Aires, like him. Yeah. But she's, you know, German. basically, yeah, German, because her parents came from Germany. Oh yeah, check us out. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Look at this. One of the most, you know, like how Feminist Frequency is like one of the prominent feminist uh, YouTube channels? Yeah. Right here is one of the prominent uh, Facebook <laughs> pages. Dude, they're fucking assholes over there, dude. Total poop mother. Yeah, pretty fucking hardcore, dude. Uh, let's, let's just say the shit that I got into with them, Barbarossa had to get involved. Holy shit. Yeah, dude, he got into it with them, dude. Um... Yeah, dude, Barbarossa came in like, you know, like a fucking, like, heavy bomber coming in with machine, machine guns blazing, fucking, you know, like, came to mop up the whole mess. Yeah, Barbarossa's pretty cool. A beak, beak, child, yo. Yeah, he's magic and he is boy. A magic soul. A beak, 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 beak. A beak, 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 beak. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Dude, dude, see this, dude. Think of all the massage parlors in our cities. Now, how many of those women do you think are trafficked into this form of sexual slavery? Oh, my slavery? fucking God. <clears throat> I love it. It's how, how many do you think? It's like, go ahead and throw a number out so we can use it as our statistics. Like, Oh, look at this. Sake. 
real men don't buy girls. And then Feminist Ascension says, damn straight. Well, well, like, fuck, man. You know, well, I'll tell you what. Real men aren't dumb enough to fucking yeah, fall for no that shit. shit. And, and real women shouldn't be fucking selling themselves to be bought in the first fucking place. Exactly. Get a real fucking job. Damn straight. It's like that fucking, uh, oh, I need to find out what that song is. Where it's like, the poop mouth using her excuse like, you know, what would you do if your son was at home lying on, all alone on the bedroom floor? Because he's hungry and the only way to feed him is to sleep with a man for a little bit of money. It's like some fucking big excuse, you know. Well, I can't help it. I need a job, so I have to do this. No, oh, I gotta go show fucking, them. Go fucking flip burgers at goddamn McDonald's or something. Oh, Fuck. look at this shit. Rape being another form of conception is the same as ramming your car into a wall at 80 miles an hour as another form of breaking. And that's what one of the GOP, you know, the Republican, the fuck? Can, you know, said. But look at that. They just rammed through that wall. God damn. A beak, beak, child knows. A magic soul. A beak, 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 beak. A beak, beak, beak. A beak, 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 beak. A beak, beak, beak. A beak, 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 beak. Beep, 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 This is, I think, Abby Nav's website or whatever. Beep, 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 beep. No, this is what he posted. Beep, 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 this is this website I found about a movie theater. Ooh, Beaky Buddy. He's a magic soul. Beak. Oh, and soul and a monkey nose. Beak. Chow. Beak. Beak. Chow. Beak. Beak. You chow, gotta see beak, this one, dude. Beak, chow, you gotta see this. Why don't you go and pet it and pet it and pet beak. it and pet it? Yeah. Well, the beak What's this website? The Cordon Sims website? Yeah. Like yeah, it's a, a, a theater. Um, beak. Kind of. Oh, look! Breaking uh, Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn, Part 2. Mm hmm. And? Oh, you need pets on? I mean, that's popular poop Mallory. I'm not really surprised that they would have that there. Beak! Bronk, kindled. Chindled, bronk, kindled. Ah, oh, here chindled. it is! Gerard Butler! Playing for keeps. Oh, that movie you're telling me about, the shocker, and the women that objectify, and wow. Gerard Butler, Jessica Biel, Uma Thurman, Catherine Zeta Jones, and Dennis Quaid star in Playing for Keeps. <clears throat> uh, a romantic com a romantic comedy about uh, a charming, down on his luck former soccer star, Gerard Butler, who returns home to put his life back together. Looking for a way to rebuild his relationship with the son, he gets roped into coaching the boys' soccer team. But in his attempts to finally become an adult, uh, in his attempts to finally become an adult, are met with hilarious challenges. Finally become an adult from the attractive soccer moms who pursue him at every turn. Playing for keeps is directed by Gabriel uh, Muschino, the director of the pursuit of the pursuit of happiness. Meh. Fucking goddamn beak haters. A beep 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 could you be even more specific? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, was it the guilt trip? What was it? Balance of the brown cable, the cable. No, it's not it. Dude, their fucking website, their web design is so cluttered and shitty. Like it's all, you see what? I, like it's all yeah, uneven. That's all right. It's all uneven though. It doesn't look good at all. We need to go pet some. Beep! Oh, hi, Beep, child.
magic Call girl, is that the name of it? Who did it have? Beak. Beep beep beak beak beep 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 beak beep 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 Oh gosh, if I knew the actress, it's like she's got this hard life of having to like. Anyway, um. Um, you know, of like, try, she's got to make ends meet, she's got to take a call girl job, or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Um, she has to take it. It's not her choice. Oh, where's this one? Oh, dude, look at this shit storm. What shot it Read it out loud, just in case the, the, the video doesn't show Oh, is this that one that I heard about? Before? Yeah, so that one, you know. Misogyny. I think it's bigoted. I think th- it's bigoted, and until you can die on the battlefield from a chemical or artillery attack to defend voting rights, then you can have equal responsibility and consequences with men until your gender makes equivalent sacrifices like men have done on 9-11-2001, the sinking of the Titanic, the First World War, the Vietnam War, the Korean War, the Civil War, World War II, the Global War on Terror, and anything else, then your gender is the big, then your gender is the bigger gender. Reality. Women were denied the right to vote and denied the right to fight on any battlefield. You can't blame women for not fighting beside the men when the men refuse to allow it. Man! <laughs> That's scary <laughs> beat, child. Oh, gosh. Fucking poop, man. Yeah, dude. Fucking massages. Meh. Oh my gosh, look at with this dude. Femi- feminism is, is about equality of the sexes, and communism is about equality of all humanity. Meh, meh, meh. And also, anyway, it's, it's all just dumb shit. People that need to pet it, basically. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at this. Why don't you go and pet it and pet it and pet it and pet, pet it? Yeah, love each child. Pet them and pet them, pet them, pet, pet them. Weak. This page, faithless daughters. This page is aimed at the freedom of women from the patriarchal shackles of religion has placed on humanity. Remember the suffragettes, man. Oh my God. I can't believe Belt Sanders had the fucking nerve to like this. What the fuck? And he's one of them MRAs, dude. The fuck? God so damn. So he's clearly not petting it. No, my damn. Oh, there's another reason not to trust women and especially oh, yeah. feminists. Oh, yeah. This dick make my rice look bigger. Brr. Bitch, you need to fucking check your privilege. Yeah, seriously. I mean, wearing that out in public. Yeah. yeah. Face. And look at that fucking attitude on this. I mean, it's like, does this dick make my rice look any yeah, bigger? I mean, the fucking f- face that she's making in her body language. Like- I mean, it just shows the mentality of of you know of women and and. <sighs> I mean, look at what a woman will do. You don't see a guy doing this shit. Oh my gosh, look at this poop mouth. Nowadays, when women used to be cashed in balance, so they say, God, days when wealthy used to keep running his concubines. God, days when women were considered assets and need to be cut. Uh, <laughs> Are you fucking... Oh my god. Oh man, it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> See, you constantly have to be something worth... Every, you, fuck! 
You want everyone to goddamn take time out of their lives to make sure that you feel fucking validated by being important to someone? Fuck. God damn. Oh my gosh, religion is like Internet Explorer. You either use it because you're not smart enough to ch uh, change it, you're afraid to, uh, to download anything new, it was there when you started. Now, I agree that the Internet Explorer is... I mean, see, this person makes a pretty good point about Internet Explorer because I agree with how shitty the whole Internet Explorer, you know, experience is because I used to have the same problems, you know, and like... Because I use Firefox. Of course, you see, I'm not using Microsoft Windows. I'm using GNU Linux, specifically Linux Mint. And... Uh, you know, and I could run Internet Explorer through, like, Wine, you know, the Windows API emulation. And... <clears throat> you could, but why the fuck would you... Exactly. And, I mean, I remember, like, fucking five and a half years of stagnation from Microsoft, you know, with Internet Explorer version 6. They put it out in, like, early 2001. Yeah, early 2001. And it was like... And it was... You know, basically the death nail for, like, well, in, in you know, the final shot fired in, in the fucking browser war between, you know, um, Netscape and Internet Explorer. And, you know, Microsoft achieved total web dominance with Internet, with Internet Explorer version 6. And they had no new versions for five and a half years until, like, October of 2006 or whatever with Internet Explorer version 7. But in the internet, the web had changed so much in that half decade. <laughs> so many different new scripting languages were implemented, all different types, you know, of design techniques. Cascading style sheets had rapidly evolved and got new feature sets and all that. And then web pages look like shit for anybody who tried to implement the new features because Internet Explorer couldn't handle CSS properly. And, and, like, all these technologies, so basically people had to do all this fucking legacy backwards-ass shit and hacks in their own fucking pages and fucking modify, painstakingly modify their web pages to look properly in Internet Explorer 6 because everybody had all these Pentium 4 machines that were running, you know, Windows XP from, like, late 2001 or early 2002, and... And uh, had and had Internet Explorer six and didn't update anything. And besides, Microsoft didn't put out a new version of whatever. So they were on the Pentium four processor for half a decade, combined with the with Windows XP for that same half decade time frame, combined with Internet Explorer version six. And there was just a half decade of stagnation, and it was shitty. And so I agree that Internet Explorer is is been just shitty overall throughout history. But then they don't have to fucking dog on religion like that. I mean, you. I mean, you're an atheist, right? I guess I, I don't really even identify myself as that because apparently nowadays you can't even just not believe anything. You have to like, well, you're an atheist. Let's have our atheist meetings in this atheist building and discuss how atheist we are. I just don't want to believe in anything. Yeah, I mean, well, except for Beak Child. Well, yeah, I mean, his teachings are you know just amazingly beakish, but. I mean, well, see, actually, we got our own thing. It's called the, um, you know, it's called the Beakleyan Mythos. Oh, yeah. And it's not really a religion, right? No. It's actually like a mythological system of explanation, kind of like Freemasonry, right? Yeah. All right. So, anyway. It's so an esoteric school of tradition. Yep. And it's like you don't get saved by any kind of deity. It's just basically like, basically, it's almost like Aesop's fables or whatever, right? Like morality lessons. You know, like, don't steal and don't fucking go around... Don't hate it. Yeah, don't go around raping people and being a dumb fuck. And, uh, let's see, um... Where's that one? Oh, you gotta see this one picture. It's... It's pretty bad, like what they say. Um... Why don't you go in and pet it and pet it and pet it and pet, pet it? Oh, yeah, I love me, child. Do you love Bronkindle? I pet his soul, okay? Okay. Unlike these people on here? Clearly. Do they need to pet it? All day. They don't even know what petting it means, do they? No, they hate it. Beep. 
Man, they got so many pictures on here. I'm trying to find that one. It's pretty fucking misandering, dude. God damn, how many hundreds of pictures do they got? Oh no! Fuck no. <laughs> oh wow. Can't believe they used someone that looks like that. You know what I mean? I mean, they kind of got a clue that that Big Child is like, is kind of like Maitreya. You know, there there like there is like a side by side comparison in like scope of like, mm. you know, contribution. But like, oh look, it's Big Child. Oh, he's in my lap. Oh, there he is. He's bronchial, bronchial tube child. <laughs> but like, they, they just had to mock us, didn't they? Oh yeah. Um. Where's this one? It's of a man giving birth. What the fuck? And it started that whole big shit storm of that misogyny comment. You know, remember that that I showed you? Yeah. You know, reality and misogyny. Beak. Beak. Chop. Beak. Beak. Chop. Beak. Beak. Chop. Uh, oh yeah, monkey man, he's a magic soul. Damn, how many pictures do they got on here? Pet it. A it pet just it. keeps going pet on forever. A pet, soul, a pet, soul, pet, pet, soul, 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 pet, 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 soul, 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 soul. Pet and pet and pet and pet and pet and on the soul. Yeah, oh yeah, soul and 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 soul and oh soul. Yeah, yeah, soul. Yeah. See, that's the thing. The Amazing Atheist talked about this a lot. Like, all, like how atheism is like the new religion. Now, now the Amazing Atheist is an atheist, but he's fed up with how the atheist movement is and, and how so many fucking women join the atheist movement. Be, feminist, you know, they just fucking hijacked it, you know, and they're like, let's destroy everything. Let's bring down all forms of control. Yeah. Because they can't even be satisfied with... with with taking down the patriarchy, they got to see religion as being a whole big part of the, you know... Yeah, the... Since it was... Well, it's stupid shit to even argue over because, you know, if you don't like a religion, then just find a fucking different one. God damn. Yeah, I mean... Make your own if you don't like one. I mean, fuck. People do it all the time. Yeah, we kind of know about that, don't we? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um... Um, where did this go? Um, damn, they got so many pictures on here. child. <laughs> You know, I thought I was just gonna surf through here and and like finally find that picture, but apparently not. Apparently not. How many pictures do they put on here? Fuck. Just do it this way then. Real men don't hate women. Well, newsflash, most men don't hit women, you dumbass. Yeah, no shit. <clears throat> newsflash, don't fucking hate it. Philosoraptor. Check it out. Before God created Eve, did Adam still have a penis for fucking women? Wow. Pretty damn bigoted. That's pretty mature.
Are we finally going to get to that picture? Pet it, mm, pet it, mm, mm, pet it, pet it. Oh, you beat child. Oh, he's beat child. Oh, he's monkey magic. So is magic. And they apparently like cats. Says something about them, don't it? They're gonna be cat ladies because they 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 piss off every guy and they drive off every guy. Yeah, they have to have a cat to keep them. Uh, I'm getting too old, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta see this one. Who said women cannot multitask? What the fuck? Like Maybe that's why they have Rex. Yeah, exactly. You, should, you shouldn't be doing that shit like fuck. Okay, for one. Not multitasking while driving. Yeah, exactly. You shouldn't be talking to your cell phone for one. Two, putting on makeup. Two, that's just. My god. I mean, you simply just don't hate it. It's as simple as that. God damn. <laughs> Fuck, I wish I could find this. <laughs> Beak and child and magic nose petting on that monkey soul. Give me the chocolate, nobody gets hurt. Wow, threats of violence. Mm hmm. And there's this really good picture that shows the arrogance of feminism. Uh, where it's like some dude giving birth in a hospital bed and he's in pain. And it says, and, and until you can do this, you can make your own damn sandwich. Oh my god, like, like everyone's just constantly asking women to make sandwiches. Because I wish, I wish I knew how to make a sandwich. Because then I wouldn't have to ask women to make them for me all the time. Mm -hmm. uh. Obviously, that was sarcasm. I know how to make a fucking sandwich. And this sandwich comment is... It's so fucking old. It's like, goddamn, stop eating the same dead horse. Yep. Petting bronchial child soul his soul. Well, keep an eye on this. I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. If you see one, a dude giving birth in a hospital bed and he looks like he's in pain, uh, you know how to stop an auto-scrolling mouse, right? Mm-hmm. Well, you just, you know, you just Move press it. a button, you know, and uh, you just set the middle button, you know, scroll button, push it down and, like, just move the mouse, and how far you move the cursor dictates its speed. You know, how far from the original cursor. Um... So moving the cursor up toward that would slow it down, and moving it further down, you know, would, would make it go faster. I'll keep an eye on that because I got pissed like really bad. Mm. And that's slow enough, right? You can you can catch mm -hmm. on it. Oh my fucking god. What, did you find it? No, this one says, it's like a checklist. It says, 
single taken and the third one says depends on who's asking and who and that one ha is uh checked the fuck Still hadn't come up yet? Nope. God damn, why? How many... Would you say that's hundreds of pictures this... Yeah, by now. God damn. It's probably hidden in layers of BK. Oh, well, yeah. Oh gosh, look at this one. Which one? What's it say? I see what it is. But... Oh wow, what the fuck? God damn. More hatred. I have to try it this way. Okay, check it out. Man flu. Get over it. Get over it. Try giving birth. What the fuck? We need to uh, make uh, Facebook pages for ourselves. Um, one for validation and warfare. One for manslave, which is me. And then one for you, which is the disposable human doing. And so, you know, it's like as if we're celebrities or something like that. And we can pet it. Oh, yeah, pet some. And, uh, oh, here's Band of Boys. Well, this is different. They changed their photo. Wow, what does this person say? I'm crying. I love that girl. Hmm. Check messages. That's all.
We are we are we are No, the IUS Feminist Alliance. We do gotta make a video about that. Well, I got. Oh, look at that. We got a few more video views. On which one? Down. Oh, oh all total. We're up to 20 we're up to 2901 video views. Um Damn, look at that. 95 video views and when was this um uploaded? It was the other day, I remember cuz I did it. Um I uploaded it on December 10th, and today's December, it just turned December 13th, so it's been up for like, what, two days, and, uh, you know, the 10th, the 11th, the 12th, yeah, it's been up for just a couple days, it's got 95 video views, so that average is, what, 30 views a day, right? Yeah, but that one's a minute and a half or whatever, so that's probably why people watch it, mm -hmm. they're more likely to watch something shorter. Well, also, my former girlfriend sleeping with her ex-boyfriend, that is a catchy title. Yeah. I mean, most people assume sleeping with means fucking. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's see the analytics. Pet it and pet it and pet it and pet, pet it. Wow! Oh, look at this. It is number five. The number five most popular video on our channel hmm. is uh, my former girlfriend sleeping with her ex-boyfriend. And guess what? There's no keywords. It's not even like promoted out there, you know, like trying to get people to watch it. Yeah. Now, number ten is our top ten. Bullying with impunity. Preview. Uh, preview the need for elite MIGTO. Um, and it's in number ten with... In the number 10 position with 63 video views, an estimated 97 minutes watched. It's got four likes. All right. Number nine. To Rebecca Watson about the rape switch with 69 video views and an estimated 121, 121 minutes watched, one like. Number eight. Poop Mathery in Dating. It with 75 video views, 723 minutes of time watched, and 5 likes. Number 7, Introduction for Stardusk with 77 video views, 324 minutes watched, and 3 likes. Number 6, Rant about reactions to MIGTO, which is men going their own way, with 82 views, 339 minutes of it watched, 6 likes, <clears throat> Number five, sleeping. Uh, my former girlfriend sleeping with her ex-boyfriend with 90 video views in just two days. Uh, well, two and a half days. Uh, 82 minutes watched, estimated, with one like. Number four. <laughs> That's on the movie? Number four, Predator Behind the Doll Face, Female Nature Revealed with... 97 video views, a estimated 1,173 minutes watched, and 8 likes. All right, number three, feminism and its sociopathic behavior with 152 video views, 1,237 minutes watched, and 6 likes. Number two, rise of elite MIGTO, which is men going their own way, with 183 video views, 1,178 likes, I mean, I wish, 100, I mean, 1,178 minutes watched, and 13 likes. And the number one video right now, as of Thursday, December 13th, 2012, at 1.52 a.m., is Elite MIGTO and Our Feminism Rant, with 285 video views, 2,290 minutes watched, and 16 likes. All right, demographics. 86.6% of our uh, audience is male. 13.4% is female. 
top geographies is the United States, followed by the United Kingdom, followed by Canada, followed by Australia, and lastly is Germany. So basically, all of the English, well, most of the English speaking, primarily English speaking languages, uh, you know, basically the satellite countries of of uh, <clears throat> England, except for Germany. Um, discovery. Top playback regions, or top playback locations. 87.7% of people have watched it from my YouTube page, or our YouTube page. 8.8% .8 of the views have came from mobile devices, and 3.5% of the views have come from other websites, you know, where I guess it had been embedded in a page or whatever. <clears throat> Top traffic sources. 76.2% were referrals from YouTube, like, I guess, you know, like, in the suggested videos, you know, sidebar or whatever. Yeah. 15.7% come from mobile apps and direct traffic, and 8.1% come from uh, uh, re referrals outside of YouTube. All right. Uh, what do you think about that? Pretty bronchial. And the YouTube child would be pleased. Engagement. 96 likes total, 16 dislikes, 213 comments, 72 shares, Seven favorites added, one favorites removed. This is in the last 30 days, and let's say, um, this year. Alright, um, okay, performance for this whole year of 2012. Now keep in mind, our channel's only been up on YouTube for about three months. Yeah. Uh, we've had 2,808 views, 16,223 minutes watched, 58 subscribers net change um <clears throat> okay engagement 156 and this is overall for the whole year of 2012 which keep in mind we've only been on youtube since september 7th of 2012 and right now it is december 13th of 2012 um okay for this whole year we've had 156 likes only 29 dislikes 318 comments, 81 shares, 9 favorites added, 1 favorites removed. And the number one video of all time, currently up to this time, 2012, for the whole year, so far, our number one, okay. Here, we'll do our top 10. <clears throat> number 10, my former girlfriend sleeping with her ex boyfriend with 90 video views, 82 minutes watched, 1 like. Number nine, predator behind the doll face, female nature revealed, eighty-seven or ninety-seven views, one thousand one hundred seventy-three minutes watched. Yeah, one thousand one hundred seventy-three minutes watched. Eight likes. Okay. Number nine, first commentary about Femetheus, one hundred and seven video views, six hundred and ten minutes watched. Eight likes. Uh, <clears throat> number seven, my formal introduction to Barbarossa, 124 video views, 480 minutes watched, eight likes. Number six, feminism and its sociopathic behavior, with 152 views, uh, 1,237 minutes watched, six likes. Number five. To Rebecca Watson about the rape switch with 153 video views, 355 minutes watched, and four likes. Number four, our response to Dr. Claw, the Femetheus, part one. 163 video views, 530, 532 minutes watched, nine likes. Number three, Rise of Elite Migto, which is men going their own way. With 183 video views, 1,178 minutes watched, 13 likes. Number two, Elite Migto and our feminism rant. Um, once again, Migto, M-G-T-O-W, stands for men going their own way. <clears throat> 285 video views, 2,290 
minutes watched, 16 likes. And the number one video still of 2012 on our channel in all the three months that we've been on YouTube is the number one video is analysis of a false rape allegation caught on camera. 411 video views, 1,140 minutes watched, and 12 likes. That was the first video we put on YouTube. Uh, that one got the most views. It's probably one of the most controversial, would you say? I guess. I wasn't even part of it. So. Well, that was Gay Squirrel that was in that one. All right. Um, yeah, here's our demographics and all that. Um, all right, I'm going to have to conclude this one. Uh, just let me check everything. Inbox. All right, no more messages. Let's just make sure. Okay, we have no more messages. Subscriptions. See if anybody put out any new stuff. Nope. And let's hit the main page again. Alright, yep. Okay, so we're going to log out of here. And, um... Now, here, we're going to, uh... Close this video. Alright, once again, I am Manslave, and this is... The Disposable Human Doing. And we are the duo of the Validation Warfare YouTube channel. Uh, we are the leaders of a think tank um, where we offer analysis and commentary from an elite MIGTO perspective.